Having a portrait photography setup in a dental office is extremely important if you want to motivate the patient to go through an aesthetic rehabilitation. You will be perceived by the patient as a modern dentist with a new approach and also your attention to detail and to careful planning will be definitely noticed. If you consider that it is too much to invest in a studio flash setup, I mean the big flashes, because the price of a good setup like this one here can go up to $1,100. I developed a solution to use two fixed light setups for portrait photography and this can decrease significantly the investment. But let me explain you how. Let's suppose you purchase one fixed light and separately of course the macro flashes because you want it to be able to shoot outstanding close-up and intraoral photos. For portrait photography, fixed light is a bit small to keep it on the camera and shoot from the distance because you have to step back and have the head of the patient in frame. You can use it of course, but you can't obtain this nice diffusion on the face of the patient. However, if you have two fixed light, I developed a system that you can use to mount them on tripods in such a way that you can simulate the position and the size of the studio flashes. You keep one fixed light mounted on the tripod and when you want to shoot the portrait photos, you simply disconnect the fixed light from your camera and use the same fast release couple to connect it on the tripod. These tripods are some really cheap ones that you can find on Amazon because fixed light is very light and you don't need a big strong tripod to hold the setup. When you search on Amazon for this type of tripod you can just type softbox tripod because the only important thing is that they should have this threaded part here. This is where you will connect the fast release plate but let me explain you how it goes. If you purchase fixed light duo in each box you'll find one extra fast release plate that you'll notice doesn't have the main screw and this is on purpose because you should take the plate and position it upside down and rotate it to screw it all the way down into the threaded part of the tripod. You can only connect fixed light with a fastless couple in one direction. Basically, there is a sign on the plate saying lens one. So that part should be the same with the direction of the flashes. But you can simply make a mark on one side with a polishing stone just to make it easier for you to detect the good side, especially when you are in a hurry. So connect your fixed light Take the portrait photos and then simply detach it and reconnect fixed light back to your camera. If you are in a big practice and also one of your colleagues wants to use the other fixed light, he can simply come and detach it, place it on his camera and take his photos in another room and eventually bring the fixed light and attach it back in place. So instead of spending up to $1,100 for a good setup of studio flashes, you invest in one more fixed light and separately the second set of the macro flashes, which means a total of approximately $700. And again, the second fixed light can be used by your colleagues for close-up photos when needed. So let's compare the photos taken with the big studio flashes and also the ones taken with fixed light duo. To be honest, the only difference I see is the fact that there are four lights in the eyes of the patient instead of two like in the big flashes scenario. Otherwise, the light is nicely diffused on the skin and the lips clear and focused inside the edge. So in most scenarios, this should be enough because my purpose is to be able to create a smile design and eventually a presentable before and after. So creating a solution like Fix Light Duo, I was trying to think from a practical point of view and maybe also from a financial point of view if you compare the price of the second fixed light and the macro flashes with the price of a good studio big flash setup.